I'm all packed up, ready to head to the richest city in the world. I've got $1,000 to spend in 24 hours in Dubai. Now I got a flight to catch. a lot of things to do. I unfortunately got zero sleep. The reason I didn't get any sleep is because I was booking everything all night last night. In about 10 minutes, we're about to go to the desert. After the desert, we're going straight to the jet skis. Jet skis straight to helicopter. I think we're gonna have time to go to the mall, hopefully. And then right after the mall, we are going on a super yacht. It's not even a thousand yet. So I'm gonna have to like spin stuff at the mall. To kick off the day, I got an iced mocha at the coffee shop and I knew I was gonna be in the desert for a while. So I got a wrap as well. So I could say energized. Both of these combined were $22.80. Then I found this random girl in the hotel lobby and she decided she wanted to come with. So we got an Uber for $16.61 and made our way to the desert. I got this headscarf for $8.17. Not only, you know, do I look cool, but the whole point of it is so it protects against the sun. So you can't get a sunburn. If I pulled up on you at the street, would you be scared? Slightly. We went dune bashing is what they call it. It's just kind of like drifting and trying not to crash your car in the desert. It was a lot of fun, but I was in the backseat, so I got super nauseous. And I didn't know this till after, but I ended up in the country Oman while dune bashing. There's just like a chill border between the UAE and Oman in the middle of the desert. And then we went sandboarding. Oh, uh. And the girl from the hotel went a little bit too hard and she got really bad whiplash. Dang, which is crazy. Oh! Standing, sitting. No, sitting, sitting. Okay, so. at the top of this hole, small hole. Okay, 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 here we go, guys. Do I hold on to this? Close your knees, bring arms under your legs, hold this tight, lean back. Bye-bye, okay? Habib. Bye-bye, Habib. Yes! <sighs> I'd like to thank my parents, my fans, my coaches for allowing me to get this far. I went four wheeling for like an hour or so and dude, the heat in the desert, especially in the morning and around noon, it will literally kill you if you don't get water. Then I found this camel, his name is Maurice and me and him just chilled for a little bit. Wow. And the experience overall, I would give it an S tier. Pretty solid ride, pretty smooth overall. The exit and entry point is a little bit bumpy. I'm gonna have to bump that down to A tier. I feel a little nauseous right now. It's that dune bashing, man. That got my stomach a little riled up. We spent $77 though for all of that. I got these two waters for $5.45. I legitimately might have passed out if I didn't get them. Then we Ubered back to the hotel for $14.43. Yeah, you realize Dubai is right behind you, right? Look. <laughs> that moment when the skyline is so good, you get jump scared. <laughs> All right, we made it back to the Airbnb. I've slept maybe 10 minutes in the Uber back. Still pretty low sleep, but we got some food here. My food from this morning, so no extra expense for the food. And the jet ski place is like 30 minutes away, leaving us only like five or 10 minutes to eat. And we gotta get going again. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Flow make bitches, I'm my my business, stack chicken like what it's gonna be. So next was the jet ski plus ice cream experience. Kind of an interesting combo, but I was really excited for ice cream, especially after being in the desert for so long. I could have gotten a normal jet ski for around 60 or $70 for an hour, but I decided to upgrade, spend my money recklessly like the reckless person I am and get a supercar jet ski for $190.50. So here's me in the jet ski. Don't mind my feet. Please do not screenshot this. And I was having fun. This whole jet ski thing was pretty hard to film. Here are like all the shots that I could really get. And for some reason, mine kept shutting down like every three or four minutes. Or if I would take a turn too hard, it would just stop. But thankfully it kept going and it kept booting back up. fun on the jet ski that I'm not gonna lie I forgot about the ice but what I'm confused about is they didn't even offer it to me so maybe I was supposed to ask maybe that's on me it is 2 40 p.m. right now and we have six hundred and fifty four dollars left to spend I had to change into some new clothes so I spent fifteen dollars and fifty two cents on this uber back to the hotel and I ran into a really cool dog on the elevator oh my god what kind of dog is this Oh my god, he's the sweetest dog in the world. Our dryer didn't work, so we just threw everything outside and it got dry. But uh, yeah, we have to leave in like 30 minutes, but my neck really hurts, so I'm gonna get um, 
So I'm gonna pop my neck and they may kill me. So let's see if I die or my neck feels better. Quick disclaimer, bro. I'm not professional, I might kill you, bro. Tell me like what you're gonna do before you die. I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I was just gonna pretty much, I was just gonna go like that, or like this or something, and just kinda like. Okay, well, okay, it's this part of, it's not really my neck, so it's like. That was right there. Yeah, it's like right here that hurts. All right, one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three. No, bro, this probably isn't a good idea. Actually, I don't even, I don't even know. So next up was the helicopter tour. I'm actually not nervous at all. I went zip lining a few days ago. I was really nervous, but I'm not afraid of heights anymore. So I think we're gonna be fine, guys. For this, I had three options I could have chosen. Basically, there was a 17 minute tour, a 22 minute tour, and a 30 minute tour. And the one I ended up going with was the 22 minute one called the Vision Tour. Honestly, it was about as I expected. It was my first time on a helicopter, so I didn't really know what to think. And we saw a bunch of stuff, including that one seven star hotel. We were jet skiing right there just about an hour ago. And a big thing I had to focus on during this video is fitting in all these activities in a single day because what I noticed is a dollar in Dubai gets you so much further than if you were to spend that same dollar in the United States so we had to do a lot of things in order to spend this $1,000 Okay, bros, our air got very windy cause helicopter. We back at Airbnb, we go fix that problem, we go straight to mall. Our next activity wasn't until another few hours, so I decided to go to the biggest mall in the entire world located in Dubai. The part of the mall that I got dropped off at was the designer section. So three stories of only designer stores everywhere you could possibly look. I I'd never seen anything like this before, but I no longer have a thousand dollars left to spend. So I had to walk, I, no exaggeration, around a mile just to get out of the designer section. This is the first time I've run into this issue in the video where I actually have to think about my budget because I can't buy many things under 200 right now. So there's a store up there called Boss. That might be the only thing where I can afford a single item. Right, we're kind of running low on time, but uh, we're in the Dubai mall, the biggest mall in the entire world. I'm probably gonna get this shirt, under $19 for this. And I just wanna be careful because I wanna make sure I have enough money for meals and Ubers. And I'm actually gonna be wearing this for the next activity. If you've never been to this mall, you cannot fathom how big it actually is. If I wanted to just walk by every store, it would take me probably three to four days. They have snowboarding, they have an entire aquarium, and they have this viral Dubai chocolate that I tried. It was pretty good. And the mall itself is connected to the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. It's, it's right here behind me. Right, we're on a really low on time, but we paid $15 for these two burgers. Our next activity started in about 40 minutes, but it was across the entire city, so I had to vacuum this entire burger like Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. I made my way for the exit, but I couldn't find the exit. There, there were too many hallways, too many stores. I'm not gonna lie, I was panicking. I did not think we would make it, but I found this random taxi driver, which costed about 25 bucks. All right, we changed into our new outfit. We're on the way to the super yacht. Got picked up by a taxi. I think we might make it there right on time, but we're in a huge rush. With about three minutes to spare, we found the right spot and got dropped off. When I booked this the night prior, I thought I was maybe gonna get scammed on this. Cause listen, it's a three-story super yacht with unlimited drinks and unlimited food. If I were to do something like this in the US, I feel like I'm paying like three, four, five, six hundred, depending on where I'm at. Let's go, let's see what this is all about. Watch your step, please. Watch your step. Oh wow. Bruh. They got Mario Kart in the yacht. They gotta have Rocket League, bro. It's time. I am the captain now. So there's still one part we haven't been on yet. There's like the all the way upstairs part. Let's see what that's all about. Yeah, I'll just have uh, three Coronas. Thank you. All right, so we made it on the three-story super yacht here in Dubai. We spent just about $1,000, I believe. It's time to party. We took lots of cool pictures, lots of people dancing, and here's me hitting the gritty for only $88. Stay musty out there, y'all. For real this time.